Hello, beautiful beings, and welcome back to 30 Days, 30 Different Hairstyles with me, Kate, currently on day nine. And um, I know I recycle my hair a lot, but like I've mentioned in other videos, I'm kind of lazy about it, and I'm okay with that. So, yes, um, and not only that, I really like this look, like the straight hair and the curly hair, and I want to maintain that without having to wash and curl and do all that again. So it's still there, so I'm going to just reuse my, my current hair stylish stuff. Um, with that being said, the goal for today's hair, and I do say goal because we've seen how some of the other videos turn out when I think I have an idea of what I'm doing with my hair and it doesn't pan out. So the goal for today's hair is going to be um, a zigzag side part. I'm gonna keep and use this part in the back, depending on what it looks like, I don't know. You guys know. Um, and then just um, put it in pigtails. However, I also want to incorporate two small braids that are separate, so not French braids, um, just two small braids that go into those pigtails and of course, probably a puff. So let's get started by um, taking out one side of hair. But this is what I wanna also mention. I'm very aware of the fact that not everybody's probably recycling their hairstyle. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to explain it to the extent of which hopefully you can do this without having had done yesterday's hair or the hair before that, which led to yesterday's hair. Um, but okay, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove just the one side that has the most hair in it. So, and yes, I'm brushing my hair today, which makes me pretty sad, but it definitely needs it. Um, and see, so I just love how these curls gathered together and created these big curls. Okay, so we've got this hair separated. We're keeping that there. Um, I wish I knew. There we go. Now I'm going to just brush this out. Oh, And I have not washed my hair. We're on day nine. Um, it is what it is. Part of the reason I don't wash my hair frequently, like ever, is because it's heavy and it takes like all day to dry. And as you can see, I enjoy doing things with my hair. So having it wet for days on end, okay, for like hours on end, <laughs> I'm being dramatic. Um, it's just not really something I want to do every single day or every three days. All right, so we've got just the one side. We're focusing on just that one side for now. Now, we are going to put a zigzag part in our hair. To do that, I take the comb and I just go back and forth at an angle. The goal is to make that angle um, eventually have a longer part here and then combine with that part in the back. And two, again, going back to the not washing my hair thing, I don't use product in it. Um, I don't do a whole bunch with it. So again, it's not like there's too much that needs to be washed out. I do take a walk every single day for the most part, um, but I'm not running. <laughs> I just take a walk. So it's nothing really extensive. Um, but I can tell that it is getting close to having to, you know, have to wash my hair soon. Um, my scalp will get itchy. All right. So 
Then I'm just making that larger part back over. That's really off from that part. And I may end up parting that again. Um, okay, let's see. So that is not what I had going on. So I will fix this back part here in a moment. Um, in the meantime, so now we've got our zigzag part on the top, the long part over to connect it for the straight part that goes down the center of the back of our head. Now I'm going to take out this hair and I'm gonna do my best to keep these separated. I'm going to redo that part in the back, which I was hoping I could get away with. Not doing, but oh well. All right, so I don't even know what I think about this shirt yet. I'm like wearing it to see how I feel about it and then if I like it if it's going to be today's outfit. Well, a part of it, obviously. <laughs> okay, let's fix that part in the back. So just going straight down. The back of your head. So by the way, I am just, see that's the last of the zag part, and I am just lining up with the end of that. like that. And see, I like to pull it like that because ultimately once you get it tied back, it's going to be pulled tight and it's important in my opinion to know what that part looks like. Okay, now we are going to secure one side of our hair. Um, I seem to do the smaller side first. So I'm going to start with this smaller side here. I talked about that braid we're going to incorporate in. So I'm going to take a chunk of hair here and you don't have to do the braid I just think the braids are fun and they offer just like something different to the hair and I am just going to break this section not with any of the other hair just a braid Braiding is really easy. You have three strands of hair. You cross one over the middle, 
cross the other side over, 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 and you're just going back and forth. My son Javier, he YouTubed how to braid hair and, um, you know, inspired me to show everyone because it's so easy. <laughs> And I want this braid long. I want it to um, be kind of like a peekaboo part of the pigtail. And again, I'm excited because we've got some straight hair and some curly hair. <laughs> a mess of mixed hair. Mixed media hair. That's what I, I call it. So I don't know what else do you call curls and straight hair. So just one small braid there, and I'm going to put a rubber band in it. And as you can see, I have that rubber band um, pretty lengthy, like I don't have it scrunched up on there. Again, just because I don't want it to look bulky. So if I scrunch that rubber band um, on there, it's going to look bulky and I just don't want that look. All right, so now we are going to comb from the part to the side. And the sides, so just combing all of that hair into a high uh, pigtail. Now you can choose where you want yours. I usually do mine about there. I think, I don't, I don't know. But that's where it's going today. So quickly, just going back to um, the reasons I feel I can get away with not washing my hair um, and not brushing it too often is because I do feel the lack of product I use in my hair allows me to do that. Again, my mentality, I've mentioned that before too. Um, but really when you look at all the products people use in their hair, but look at all the product that is in that product, you know, to me that just doesn't seem natural. And I feel that our hair knows how to take care of, care of itself. It's got like, you know, a naturalism to it. And what are we doing to our hair when we're just putting all of this product on it? To include, I don't use, um, conditioner too often like just every now and then I really just try to keep everything pretty minimal I guess you'll say we could say all right so this side I've got done and I'm really hoping that the straight's gonna start picky like pick a booing through um, we've got our braid there I don't know it'll figure itself out so this side just going to do the same thing um, I think though I want the braid to start here because I am gonna poof this so for me it's important to know um, I don't necessarily want it here I want it here
So if you are curious, every now and then, and I mean like every now and then, I will use product in my hair. Um, maybe a dry shampoo, but I don't even have any right now and I haven't had any for like a year. So that tells you the extent of how often <laughs> I use product. Um, and then I do have this coconut oil stuff. And usually if I use product, it's going to be when I'm going to wash my hair. So like if I were going to wash my hair tomorrow, I'd probably, not even probably, I'd maybe put some product in it. So it's also that, you know, when I do use product, it's being washed out fairly soon. Again, not that any of this really matters. Um, I just take a lot of pride in the fact that I don't wash my hair often and I don't brush it and that I love my hair. And I love it because we get to do all these fun things with it. So just braiding that hair there. By the way, if you all have any hairstyles you would like me to attend or do or play with, let me know. Leave them down in the comments and um, I make no promises. However, I will definitely take them into consideration. I have been toying with the idea of just doing regular French braids. Uh, and a fishtail braid is another one on my list that I know I can do, but I can't do it yet. <laughs> They're so pretty though. They're really a great breed. My nose is a little runny. Sorry for all the sniffling. All right, so we've got that braid in the hair. Now, same thing that we did with the other side. Brush comb, rather, from the part. start gathering all the hair into a ponytail. I'm going to leave the braid out so I don't comb it by accident. A lot of times you'll want to make these two even. I think that's personal preference and it looks good, I guess, but, um, again, I don't know. I'm not too concerned with that. I mean, obviously don't have one pigtail up here and the other one like way over here. <laughs> And I want this pigtail tight, so I am wrapping this one again. So see, mine are a little off, um, but I'm okay with that. Then what we're going to do is pull out the puff. And when I do that, I always grab from the base of the hair tie and just pull the hair out.
I'm going to try to tighten this one. Okay, I like this side. I'm not sure how I feel about this pop on this side. <sighs> so, let's see. I'm going to pull it tight at the ponytail. So one reason I didn't want to make these braids um, bigger or heavier is because they're going to lay on the other hair. And if it lays on the other hair, you don't want it flat. Like I want it to be a part of the poof. And then I usually scrunch it at the base <laughs> if it, I've gotten it a little too high or if there's anything a little too crazy going on there. I'm just not sure about this left side right now. And I don't want to take that tight ass ponytail I just put in there out. So. I think I'm just going to leave it. All right, let's check out the back. By the way, I'm pretty sure my hair is uneven um, <laughs> as far as like its length and I'm considering having one of my boys even it out for me, but I'm just not ready to do that yet. All right, so overall, um, I'm pretty sure I'm done with this hairstyle. It's just this one poof. On this side that I'm really trying to figure out. All right, I think that's gonna work. So there we have day nine, uh, recycling yesterday's hair yet again, and I'm okay with that. I want to thank you all so much for your time today and for watching. Have a great one. Oh, and if you've enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button, of course.